Get the cost caught by the neighbors What is up Matoire fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Antonio Matoire and today we will be focusing on the BMW 340i. So this package is from a fairly new company called Inline 6 Auto. So everything that I have in this box, I'll have a link down in the description if you would like to check them out. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. These look like the carbon fiber fangs that I ordered. They are. So these are the carbon fiber fangs that go on the front bumper. I was a little skeptical about getting these for my vehicle in particular, but we'll go a little bit more over that when we get out to the vehicle. I also got the carbon fiber gear shift. Looks super good. I'm pretty sure these are the carbon fiber kidney grills. That's exactly what they are. Let me open them up and take a look at them. Oh yeah, those look really good. So these are the carbon fiber kidney grills, double slotted. Right now I currently have gloss black ones on my car and they look fine, but since I have a lot of carbon fiber going on around my car, I wanted these to just kind of match up better. God damn. And lastly, couldn't get the gear shifter without getting the carbon fiber e-brake handle. And there it is. N96 Auto. So obviously I have a lot of carbon fiber here. I'm literally just trying to do a last hurrah and try to get all the final pieces to the 340. As far as aesthetic, I'm still waiting for some carbon fiber side skirts from AA Concepts. That's a very long story and that's for another video. But in this video, I'll probably just end up installing the carbon fiber fangs as well as the carbon fiber kidney grills on the front of the vehicle just for the sake of time and I'll probably do a separate video for the gear shifter and the e-brake. So let's grab everything and head to the garage. All right, so here we are in the garage. I got everything set up. So the kidney grills and the fangs. So I had mentioned inside that I was skeptical about these and let me show you why. So with my old front lip, I know they would have looked really good because it kind of sits at the very bottom of the bumper. But with this lip, it already comes up on the bumper just a little bit because this fang goes right here. And so I was afraid adding the fang would be too much carbon fiber going on. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. Also, I'm very excited to install the kidney grills for the simple fact that my V-bars are still red from when I had the car white. And ever since I got it wrapped blue, I'm just not feeling the red at all. Uh, so I do have some white wrap laying around. So I'll probably end up wrapping my V-bars white just to at least match the white calipers for now. Because as far as the red, there's literally nothing else red on my car and it just doesn't go in my opinion. So while we're in there switching out the kidney grills, I'll also uh, take off the red wrap and then put some white on there. So that being said, the fangs are super straightforward. You just put some 3M tape on the back and uh, just kind of stick them where they belong. Ooh, that actually might look really good. So we'll save those for last. Let's go ahead and get started on these kidney grills. So let me go ahead and pop the hood. So when you pop the hood, first thing you wanna do is remove this weather stripping all the way down. You can just set that to the side. Then you're gonna to wanna to loosen these screws so you can kind of pull the bumper forward to access the kidney grills. The small ones on the end are T25 and then the rest in the middle are T30s. So as far as the clip, let me show you guys what it looks like. So that clip right there, you have to push down on that little tab in the middle and then pull it forward. And then there's clips like that all the way around. There should be one right here and then two at the bottom as well as one on this side. So how it's gonna look from the top, I'm gonna be pushing down on that button to disengage it and then pull the kidney grill out. So I misspoke, there's three at the top. As you're pushing it down, you do want to pull it forward to disengage it. Just be very careful if you do plan on keeping the kidney grills. If not, if the clip breaks, then you know, so what? So for these ones on the side, I'm pushing in towards the kidney grill to disengage. The ones on the bottom are always tricky, so I'm just gonna put my finger down here, and now I'll be pushing up while pulling to disengage that one, that one's good. Then with this one, and this one. It comes out just like that. And then obviously we're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. So we do have the old gloss black kidney grills right here with the new carbon fiber ones. But before we install those, 
we're gonna go ahead and get this red wrap off all right so sorry my camera overheated but i went ahead and ripped off the red wrap not too hard pretty straightforward and while i was waiting for my camera to cool down i already pre-cut two strips of the white so let's get the white on there All right, so just finished up and they came out really, really good. I can already tell that I'm gonna like the white a whole lot better than the red. I kinda just did a time lapse real quick. It's pretty straightforward, but I cut the wrap to size. And then what I did is kinda just stick it on this surface, on the front surface at first. And then I tucked the top first, so I tucked that back and then just kinda overlapped it, tucking it underneath and then secured it in the back. So, um. You don't see the line that connects them in the front. Same with this one. So I know I just kind of ran through that real quick, but if you guys want a more in-depth DIY on how to wrap the V-bars, I'll leave a link to a video right here. But the good news is putting in the new kidney grills is a lot easier than taking out the old ones. You literally just push them into place and then all the clips click into place. So obviously when looking at the kidney grill, the round part goes towards the middle of the vehicle and then this part will go on the edge. So this one is the right kidney grill looking at the car. Make sure it's in place and then push it back. Make sure all the clips are secured. We'll go ahead and do this side once again, make sure everything is lined up. And before we do that, can we just admire the wrap that Enzo did. All these lines are just so clean. So a huge shout out to Enzo. Again, if you're in the Las Vegas area and need your car wrapped, hit him up. He does amazing work. But for this one, same thing. You just line it up where it needs to be and you can just push it straight on back until you hear the clips engage. And just be sure to push from the outside. You don't want to push from uh, the inside because you don't want to snap any of these slots. There they are. So they look really good in my opinion and with the white V-bars. I think it looks a whole lot better. The carbon fiber on the front of the vehicle is definitely coming together. Now that we have the kidney grills back in, I'm gonna go ahead and replace all these screws as well as that weather stripping. As mentioned before, these are gonna be super easy. So when installing these, they're literally just gonna go right there with some 3M tape. And so with that being said, the area that's gonna be touching the bumper is this clear gloss area, the flat area all the way down. So that is the edge that you wanna put the 3M tape on. Y'all, I ran into the issue that I thought I was gonna run into. Check this out. So on this side, right, it fits. It looks good, to be honest, right? It fits right in that gap, right there. On the other side. So I guess when they put my lip back on after getting it wrapped, uh, it's carbon fiber, so it never fit perfectly in the first place, but there's no gap over here at all. And there is a gap over here. So on this side, it allows the fang to sit in that little gap. But on this side, it fits up here, but does not fit right there. And back here, you can see that it won't seat correctly because it is sitting on top of the lip. So that's a dilemma right there. Even if I adjust the front lip, it's kind of pushed all the way to the right. And even then, the gap on this side is just barely big enough. So even if I centered the lip, it would make the gaps way too thin on both sides. So my only options are to just, one, not put them on at all, or two, adjust the front lip, literally adjust it, like take a Dremel to it and just kind of cut some of it off. So that way the fang can kind of sit in there. Uh, but how about you guys let me know down in the comments, what do you think I should do? Do you guys want to see the fangs on the F30 or do you guys think I'm better off without them? Regardless though, that is going to be a job for another day. It doesn't feel like this video has been that long, but I am going to cut it off right here and do the e-brake and the gear shifter for another video, probably a part two to this video. Be sure to stick around for part two, be on the lookout for it. But just like that, that wraps up today's video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video or helped you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. And as always, Matoire fam, remember your goals and don't stop till you reach them. Peace. Excited just to see me, wish I felt the same way. Later on, she'll probably get a name change. People changing on me like the game way.